Good evening. Welcome you all for the today's session Embedded Operating Systems Process Management. So what is a process management in embedded system? Process management. It is nothing but how the OS manages and views other softwares in the embedded. So this is the main structure of process management which consists of three sections. One is embedded OS. Another one is kennel and the last one is uh, devices. Okay. So this multitasking and process management, a sub function typically, typically can be done within process management is interrupt and error detect detection management has been completed. So what is an operating system? A program that acts as an intermediary between a user of a computer software and a hardware is said to be as operating system. So the goals of operating systems are it execute user programs and make solving user problems easier. It makes the computer system convenient to use. It is also used to the computer hardware. It uses the computer hardware in an efficient manner. So what is process management in OS? A program does nothing unless its instructions are executed by a CPU. A program is execution in execution is called a process. In order to accomplish its task, process needs the computer resources. There may exist more than one process in the system which may require the same resource at the same time. So why do we need process management in operating system? Because the operating system allocate resources that allow the process to exchange information. It synchronizes among processes and safeguards the resources of other processes. Then the operating system manages the running process in the system and performs tasks like scheduling and resource allocation. So the two type of process in OS basically is independent process and cooperating process. So this is the cycle of an embedded operating system which starts with new, ready, run and run and termination. So these are all the units available here in embedded process management. So the different status of process in OS is new ready run block or wait completion or termination suspend ready suspend wait new is nothing but a program which is going to be picked up by the os into the main memory is called a new process ready is nothing but whenever a process is created it directly enters into the ready state and which it waits for the cpu to be assigned then running block or wait completion or termination suspend ready suspend wait so these are the key elements of process, process definition, process and activity rules, available tools and training. The plain and simple reality of these elements are inseparably linked. The absence of one element will hugely affect the result of the processes with initiative. So these are the four components of a computer system like users, application program, operating system and computer hardware. You may have number of users and a system and application program which consists of compiler, assembler, text editor as well as data system and operating system then computer hardware. So a process is a program in execution. It is a unit of work within the system. It has two entity like passive entity and active entity. Passive entity is nothing but a collector of instruction that define a sequence of operation to be performed. And active is nothing but it is representing an instance of resources to an, in, uh, representing an instance of a program in execution. So this process needs resources to accomplish its task like CPU, memory, input, output fields, initiation, initialization, data. So the process termination requires reclaim of any reusable resources. Single threaded process, process executes then multi threaded process. Single threaded is nothing but only one flow of control exists. Multi, -press, uh, multi is several flows of control. Typically, system has many processes, some user, some operating system running concurrently on one or more CPUs. 
so these are the activities of process management first one is creating and deleting both user and system processes suspending and resuming processes providing mechanism for process synchronization providing mechanism for process communication providing mechanism for deadlock handling so this is all about our process management so next we can discuss about inter process communication thank you